Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel Planning with Brie. My name is Brianna Keyshell and today I will be setting up my February bullet journal. Right here I'd like to add a disclaimer about my bullet journal. I call it a bullet journal because it, it is in a dotted journal or a dotted notebook to help with my designs and my page layouts. However, I do not use this journal for planning. I do have a planner and if you head over to my Instagram or if you look at some of my shorts here on YouTube, then you will get a glimpse of my happy planner. This journal, however, the one that I am drawing in right now is more of like a wellness journal. I use it for self-reflection, goals, self-awareness, things like that to just help me clear my mind at the end of the day, set goals for the new month, maybe the next week. And sometimes I just use it as a sketchbook to hold all of my beautiful collages. So right now I am going to be filling out my monthly themes page with my January theme. My January theme was actually about about greens it was like all about greens um so i'm just filling in some of these i guess this is a monster relief i actually i think that's what this is but this plant is so popular and it has been used in almost every bullet journal here on youtube in different types shapes colors that i'm actually not even sure i'm drawing a monster relief anymore but I am so dedicated to filling that entire spread out because I can't wait to see what it looks like at the end of the year. So right now I'm going to cut out all of my Pinterest pictures. I will link my Pinterest board down below in the description if you are interested at taking a look at all of these pictures. I have a lot of reds, burgundies, pinks, and some art that kind of focuses on outfits and shoes and nails and things like that. I realized that this year I am getting more into, I don't want to say fashion, but fashion. <laughs> On the left hand side, I am arranging these pictures so that I can complete a collage. I was also toying with the idea of creating a collage on the right hand side as well, but you'll see what I do with that page when I come back to it to finish the title page. Right now I am cutting out the silhouette of this woman in this really pretty red dress. She's also holding a nice little glass of wine, which kind of makes me think of like a Galentine's, Valentine's Day type of thing, you know, like she's dressed up. Up. she's on her way out she's looking cute and that also leads me to why I have that picture of the shoes is what I was describing earlier I have a few of these pictures on my Pinterest board but then I just have a few other pictures like the roses these red butterflies that are down here in the bottom right right there that I'm moving around I have that picture of the rose laid on top of some I want to say like book paper as well as that old red car so I have a lot of different pictures that are just in that color scheme and I'm going to now lay out some washi tape some pink washi tape that I got from Amazon that will be linked below if you would like to see it but guys any washi tape will work if you are a washi tape type of person whatever washi tape you have throw it on there the way that I've been liking to use washi tape is to kind of make that pattern where all of the washi tape starts at one point but they have varying lengths and it looks like a stair step if you can see below that shoe picture you can see more of the washi tape on the bottom a little bit less of the middle one and you can see even less of the washi tape on top so I love to do that with the washi tape. It is really cute and really fun for me. So now moving on to the title page, I am again just using some pictures that have red in them. Um, there's this notebook with a pen that is has a red hue to it and also some red butterflies. And I cut out some of these Polaroid picture stencils. And I'm just laying those on top, but not perfectly. I'm kind of laying them so that you can still see the details of the picture, but you can tell that there is a Polaroid stencil on top of it. I accidentally used my tape runner on this page, which created that page to be sticky. And I didn't want to add anything necessarily to that part of the page. So I just cut it off 
and made it a Dutch door. Um, that was not really planned. However, my name is Brianna and I mess things up quite frequently. The last thing that I'm going to do is add a few details to these pictures, adding some curved lines around the edges of the silhouettes of these pictures. I am adding some like, are these lightning bolts? I'm not sure what those are that I drew around the rows. I'm adding some details around the light of the car. And then I'm going to add some circles to these roses in the middle just to kind of give them a drawn look. I like my pictures to kind of look lively. So that's why I choose to draw on them. You can do that as well if you would like. Um, but if you like the look of them just how they are, you can leave them just like they are it is completely up to you so to complete this dutch door that i created i am going to just tape some of this beige paper i have to the dutch door i decided to do it this way instead of adding it to the page behind it because i didn't know what i wanted to do for the layout of that page just yet so i thought that that was a better way of doing it so that the entire page would be covered and i didn't have to worry about the contents of the next page peeking through so after i laid that out i also laid out some paper uh, that i got from a book and then i used my really really thick washi tape to just go down the center of it so that on each side of the washi tape it's a different design next i'm going to do a very simple collage i'm going to use some more of those stencils as well as this one picture of this lady in red she's in high heels and they also have some drawings of roses in the top and bottom corners so once i am done with that collage i am going to do my habit tracker on this page but i wanted to completely cover this page up but i still needed the structure of the dots so i just tore a piece of my dotted paper from the very back of this journal and i'm going to use it to create four mini calendars if you are scared to do this because you don't want to run out of pages, I completely understand. I would advise you to either use some white paper or print off some mini calendars from online. They have a lot of calendars that you can use on Google or whatever your favorite search engine is, and you can just print those off. I don't have a problem using the pages in the back of my journal because I know that I'm either going to run out anyway, um, like around six months or I just really, I don't, you know, I don't care, sorry. But I was just showing you guys that that tape runner actually just ran out of tape. So thank God I had some glue on hand. The only thing that I don't like about using the liquid glue in my journals is I think that that is why my journal for the past six months won't close. It, it literally will not close, it stands up proudly like hey girl how are you you know so I I think that the tape runner is very helpful it is very precise to a certain extent um, I do have to use a lot of it because I'm just sometimes not a precise person but it does have its perks the downfall is that that tape runner did not last a very long time I just bought it um when I was doing my January setup so I don't know if I want to buy them every three weeks. I'm not sure, we'll figure it out. So for these stencils, I did decide to color the inside square completely black instead of using it as a stencil by cutting it out just because of um, how I wanted this page to look. I did lose some footage, but the only thing I did was glue down those mini calendars, a little header at the top, and then I wrote February habits over on the left hand side. I'm gonna do a drop shadow and that's it for this page. I do also want to take this time out to say that February is also the month that we celebrate Black History Month here in America. And that is very important to everyone that I know because when we speak about certain things being black is one of the first things that we have to consider unfortunately but also 
it's a lot of pride in that as well. Um, I did have some pieces that were on my Pinterest board or that still are my Pinterest board about being black in America, having that pride and also celebrating the history of everything my ancestors or even just my grandmothers and my grandfather went through to get me to where I am today. So I wanted to point that out. And I didn't want you guys to think that I had left that out because that is such an integral part of who I am. That is what I want my journal to portray when I put it up on YouTube is that I am a woman. I am a black woman in America. And that has a lot of weight to the things that I do, the things that I say here on YouTube. I also made sure to talk about this a little bit more in some other videos on my channel and how that has a great impact on how I speak in these videos and what I decide to create in these videos because it is really, really important to me that I make a good positive channel. Um, so I did not want you to go this entire video without saying that and without acknowledging every single thing that I've learned from my parents, my grandparents about what this month is supposed to mean when honestly it's, it's a life, you know? With that being said, uh, this page is really simple. I decided to take four different colors and pink, a light, light pink, a light peach, a very muted pink as well as like a red a pinkish red and I colored every four lines one color and then I switched colors um, if you notice down at the bottom left hand corner my marker exploded and I tried to fix it just by um, rubbing it out and smudging it so this is the final flip through hope you guys really enjoyed this red vintage ish valentine's day ish theme and i hope to see you guys back for the next video next week thank you bye